All right, well, um, what I'm doing here is I'm removing the carpet strips, um, like you see here, from uh, terrazzo floor. And it's uh, quite a nice terrazzo floor, actually. We just uh, thought we were going to be having, having to put in new carpet here. And when we pulled up the old carpet, of course, we found that uh, somebody had, in my opinion, erroneous, erroneously covered it, covered this beautiful terrazzo with um, some some fairly nasty carpets. So anyway, but that leaves us with this little problem, which is, I don't know if you can see that, but right here, there's, I think my camera's having a little trouble focusing, but um, there's a carpet, uh, a, a tack strip nail. And these are aluminum nails in this case, and um, I'm led to understand that um, uh, they're not always aluminum, so keep that in mind if you uh, um, make use of any of this information I'm about to give you. So. The trick is to get these out. If you just pull them out, you leave a big crater there a lot of times uh, because this stuff isn't really that, it's kind of brittle, you know, the terrazzo, and um, it'll just uh, kind of rank a, yank a big crater out. So, so what I'm doing, and I'm going to try to show you this with, uh, whilst holding the camera, um, is I'm using this um, saw. It's a um, hacksaw blade, and it's in one of these little handles. And the reason this is good is because I can just kind of get right in there, right? Real tight, and, and this will bend pretty nicely. And it takes about, with a fresh blade, it takes, I don't know, it's anywhere from five to eight or nine uh, decent, um, you know, motions. You can see here where I, I've removed those, and they're, they're pretty flat. Like, I can run my finger over it, and I'm not really at any risk of hurting myself, or more importantly, neither of the kids. Now one thing I noticed uh, at another spot, which I will show you if I can, I'll get another shop light going here. Um, I don't know if you'll see it, but there's been a couple points like right there, if you can see that where the blade left a little bit of a mark, right? So I'm just going to um, turn on a more shop light, there we go. So in this, so what I started doing is, um, I've made myself a little makeshift kind of buffer here between the blade and the um, uh, and the floor, right? And I just it's just a real thin t-shirt rag. You can see the rest of the nasty rag there. And I just cut off a strip of it and I place the blade right there. And it seems to be just enough to keep the blade from scarring. And you know, of course, it doesn't matter if you here. And I'll just cut through this. It doesn't matter if the t-shirt gets messed up. This blade needs to be replaced. Good. So uh, that's come off there and you know I might have scratched the floor a little bit but it's definitely less than I was doing before so um, I thought I would just add that little you know shoot this video because uh, this seems to be fairly helpful <laughs> at least it is to me anyway and um, I thought I would just share that because, man, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Sharing this kind of stuff when you figure it out and uh, helping other people uh, DIY. All right, well, that's it. That's my the, my grand video on terrazzo floor removal of carpet tack strip nails over and out.